Earth is on high alert as a severe geomagnetic storm is set to strike. This storm, triggered by a massive eruption on the sun, is predicted to hit within days and could disrupt power grids, satellite communications, and radio transmissions globally. Geomagnetic storms of this scale are rare but potentially dangerous. Historically, these storms have caused blackouts and widespread disruptions. Today, we're taking a closer look into the science behind this phenomenon, its potential effects, and how we can prepare for its impact. What is a geomagnetic storm? A geomagnetic storm occurs when a burst of solar wind or a coronal mass ejection, CME, from the sun strikes Earth's magnetic field, causing disturbances in the magnetosphere. These storms are often triggered by solar flares, sudden eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. When a CME or solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field, it distorts and compresses it, leading to increased electric currents in the atmosphere. This surge of energy can interfere with technology, including power grids, satellites, and communication systems. Geomagnetic storms are classified by intensity on a scale from G1, minor, to G5, extreme. Minor storms may cause small fluctuations in power systems, while extreme storms, like the one predicted to hit Earth soon, could result in widespread disruptions. The storm we are bracing for is the result of an unexpected eruption on the sun's surface, a solar flare from sunspot AR 3835. This sunspot, which had appeared stable, suddenly released a CME traveling at speeds over 650,000 miles per hour. As it reaches Earth's magnetosphere, the collision could unleash a geomagnetic storm of significant intensity. While geomagnetic storms are not unusual, the timing and severity of this particular event have raised concerns. With Earth nearing the autumnal equinox, the alignment of its magnetic field with the Sun makes it more vulnerable to these solar outbursts. The phenomenon known as the russell mcferrin effect, which describes the increased frequency of geomagnetic storms during equinoxes, underscores the potential for heightened impacts during this period. Cause of the current geomagnetic storm The severe geomagnetic storm expected to hit Earth is the result of a powerful solar flare that erupted from a sunspot known as AR 3835. This sunspot, which had been relatively stable, suddenly unleashed a significant coronal mass ejection, CME, on September 22nd. The CME, a vast bubble of plasma and magnetic field, is currently traveling toward Earth at speeds exceeding 650,000 miles per hour. While such solar eruptions are common, what makes this event particularly concerning is its timing, coinciding with Earth's autumnal equinox. The autumnal equinox amplifies the effects of CMEs because Earth's magnetic field aligns more closely with the Sun's magnetic field during this period. This alignment reduces the natural deflection that the planet's magnetosphere usually provides, making it more susceptible to solar winds and CMEs. Scientists refer to this phenomenon as the russell mcferrin effect, which explains why geomagnetic storms are more likely to occur around the equinoxes. As a result, the solar particles are expected to have a more direct impact on Earth's magnetosphere, increasing the potential for disruptions. This particular geomagnetic storm has raised alarms due to the sheer speed and intensity of the CME. While the exact severity of the storm is yet to be determined, space weather agencies like NASA and NOAA have been closely monitoring the situation, issuing warnings, and preparing for potential impacts. The combination of a powerful solar eruption and the vulnerable equinox period makes this storm a significant event that could lead to noticeable effects on Earth's infrastructure and technology. Potential Impacts on Earth The effects of a geomagnetic storm can be wide-ranging and, in severe cases, highly disruptive. Power grids are among the most vulnerable systems during such storms. The surge of charged particles from the sun can cause fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field, which may induce electrical currents in power lines. These currents can overload transformers and other critical components, leading to outages and blackouts. During past storms, power grids in regions like Quebec have experienced major disruptions, leaving millions without electricity for hours or even days. Satellites and communication systems are also at risk. 
A geomagnetic storm can interfere with satellite operations, causing temporary loss of communication or navigation signals. Satellites in orbit can suffer from increased drag due to the storm's effects on Earth's upper atmosphere, which can alter their trajectories and require corrective maneuvers to avoid malfunctions. Furthermore, the storm can disrupt GPS systems, affecting industries like aviation, shipping, and military operations that rely heavily on precise location data. Air travel, particularly in polar regions, may also be affected. High levels of solar radiation during geomagnetic storms can force airlines to reroute flights to avoid disruptions to communication and navigation systems. Additionally, the increased radiation exposure poses a risk to passengers and crew on flights passing over the poles, leading to temporary changes in flight paths. Radio communications, particularly at high frequencies, can experience outages as the storm disturbs the ionosphere, a layer of Earth's atmosphere critical for long-distance radio signals. While these effects can cause significant inconvenience and risk, they vary depending on the severity of the storm. Minor storms might only cause brief interruptions, while stronger storms, such as the one anticipated, can lead to more serious consequences. These potential impacts highlight the importance of monitoring and preparing for geomagnetic storms to mitigate the damage they might inflict on modern infrastructure. Auroras, the visible effect. One of the most striking and beautiful outcomes of a geomagnetic storm is the appearance of auroras. Commonly known as the northern and southern lights, these displays occur when charged solar particles interact with Earth's atmosphere, particularly in the polar regions. As solar winds penetrate the magnetosphere, they excite particles in the atmosphere, causing them to emit light. These shimmering curtains of green, pink, and violet dance across the sky, creating a natural spectacle that draws attention from around the world. While auroras are typically confined to high-latitude regions like Scandinavia, Alaska, and Canada, a strong geomagnetic storm can push them further south. During events of higher intensity, auroras can become visible in locations that rarely see them, such as parts of the northern United States and Europe. This makes them a more accessible sight for those who would not normally have the chance to witness them. Although they are a beautiful byproduct, auroras are also a visual indicator of the intense solar activity taking place above. Beyond their aesthetic appeal, auroras are significant from a scientific standpoint. They provide real-time visual evidence of the sun's activity and how Earth's magnetic field is interacting with solar particles. For scientists studying space weather, observing auroras can offer insights into the severity of a geomagnetic storm and help monitor its progression. While many eagerly anticipate the stunning light shows, the presence of auroras is a reminder of the broader and potentially disruptive forces at play during a geomagnetic storm. Historical examples of severe geomagnetic storms. Throughout history, there have been several significant geomagnetic storms that illustrate the potential impact of such events. The most famous of these is the Carrington event of 1859, which remains the strongest geomagnetic storm on record. Named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, who first observed the associated solar flare, this storm caused widespread disruptions to telegraph systems, with some operators reporting electric shocks from their equipment. Auroras were seen as far south as the Caribbean, and skies in Europe and the United States glowed with brilliant light, marking this as one of the most dramatic space weather events ever recorded. Another major geomagnetic storm occurred in March 1989, resulting in a blackout across Quebec, Canada. This storm was triggered by a massive CME that caused electric currents in the Earth's crust to overload the Hydro-Quebec power grid. Within minutes, the entire grid collapsed, leaving over six million people without power for nine hours. The blackout served as a stark reminder of how vulnerable modern infrastructure is to space weather, and it led to increased awareness and monitoring of solar activity by space weather agencies. In recent years, several smaller but still significant storms have impacted Earth, particularly during solar maximums when the sun's activity is at its peak. For example, in 2003, a series of solar flares and CMEs triggered what became known as the Halloween storms, which disrupted satellite communications, aviation systems, and power grids across the world. 
These storms demonstrated the need for continued vigilance and preparedness, as even with modern technology, geomagnetic storms can still pose a serious threat to global infrastructure. These historical examples show that while geomagnetic storms are not a new phenomenon, their potential to disrupt modern life has grown as we become increasingly reliant on electronic systems. As we brace for another significant storm, it is important to consider the lessons of the past and take appropriate measures to mitigate the risks. Preparedness and Mitigation Strategies As geomagnetic storms have the potential to disrupt essential systems, preparations to mitigate their effects are crucial. Power grid operators, for instance, have developed various measures to protect electrical infrastructure from the surges caused by solar storms. These include grid hardening techniques where critical equipment is reinforced to withstand magnetic fluctuations. Operators also employ early warning systems, giving them time to adjust the load on power grids and prevent overloads. Lessons learned from past storms, such as the 1989 Quebec blackout, have helped improve these strategies. Satellites and communication systems also face significant risks during geomagnetic storms, prompting space agencies like NASA and NOAA to maintain continuous monitoring of solar activity. By closely observing solar flares and CMEs, they can predict when storms are likely to occur and alert satellite operators. This allows operators to switch satellites to safe modes or adjust orbits, minimizing the risk of damage or communication disruptions. Commercial airlines, especially those operating over polar routes, often adjust their flight paths during geomagnetic storms to avoid increased radiation exposure and potential communication breakdowns. For the general public, staying informed during geomagnetic storms is essential. People living in high-latitude regions, where power outages and communication disruptions are more likely, are often advised to unplug sensitive electronics and have backup power sources available. Emergency services and government agencies provide updates through official channels, helping individuals prepare for any potential disturbances. These preparedness measures, combined with advances in technology, help mitigate the impacts of geomagnetic storms and reduce their risks to everyday life. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you worried about the effects of a geomagnetic storm? Let us know in the comments section below. Geomagnetic storms are intense disturbances in Earth's magnetic field caused by solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs, from the Sun. These storms occur when charged particles from the Sun collide with Earth's magnetosphere, creating electrical currents that can disrupt power grids, satellite operations, and communications. The anticipated storm, triggered by a CME from Sunspot AR 3835, coincides with the autumnal equinox, a period when Earth's magnetic field aligns more closely with the Sun's, amplifying the storm's effects. Historically, storms like the Carrington event of 1859 and the 1989 Quebec blackout have demonstrated how vulnerable modern infrastructure is to these solar events. Power grid operators now employ measures to protect against storm-induced surges, such as hardening electrical components and using early warning systems. Satellites are monitored and placed into safe modes when solar activity increases, while airlines reroute flights to avoid high radiation levels in polar regions. Public preparedness has improved with agencies like NASA and NOAA tracking solar activity and issuing alerts. For individuals, precautions include unplugging sensitive electronics and staying informed through official updates. Though potentially disruptive, geomagnetic storms also produce stunning auroras as charged particles excite the atmosphere, creating vivid light displays visible at lower latitudes during severe events. These storms, while scientifically valuable, remind us of our dependency on technology and the need to prepare for space weather's unpredictable impacts. With advances in monitoring and mitigation strategies, the risks posed by these natural phenomena are becoming more manageable but they still require constant vigilance.